All right. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I don't think you're ready. I'm not ready. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey y'all, welcome to today's video. My amazing husband has <laughs> decided to go shopping for me and pick out all my makeup from Dollar General. So, I didn't give him any input. I let him completely just pick out what he thinks I need as far as makeup not, goes. Hold on, not what you need. Just because I, I, I'm not, that's... <laughs> Uh, I picked out the basics. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. I have not seen what he has picked out yet. So, let's, uh, let's find out <laughs> what, what right, we got. So. so, we've got a... Ooh. I see you spraying stuff on your face all the time. We got a Wet n' Wild Photo Focus Natural Finish Setting Spray. Okay, that's a good one. <laughs> what is this? Ew! Translucent powder. Is that right? Yes. <laughs> he got me some Believe Beauty translucent powder. All right, let's to see set what's my makeup next with. On the I'm surprised you got those two things so far. Ooh. <laughs> Rosy Glow, Born to Blush. Okay. I, I promise I have no clue what I'm buying. <laughs> <laughs> so this is, I think, supposed to be a blush, but I might use it as a highlighter because it's kind of, looks more like a highlighter. It's pretty. Okay. Believe Beauty Skin Finish Foundation, full coverage. There's a lot of colors. This so is I just nude. I didn't know what to pick. <laughs> I figured noon was the best. <laughs> See what this is. I don't know what this is. We got another Believe Beauty Lustrous Shine Lip Gloss. Prim and proper. Well, so far you did pretty good. This is a Believe Beauty Volumen Eyes Mascara Intense Black. Is that wrong? I mean, I mean, I guess it's not wrong. It's not wrong. We'll see if it's right. And then a brow defining pencil in light brown. Okay. <laughs> I don't see the confidence in your face. I don't know if light brown is going to be the right color, but we'll see. It was either that or like charcoal black. Okay. <laughs> Okay. So I chose. Well, light brown. There, there was there was a limited selection. All right. All right. And we got long lasting eyeliner, so slate, which is gray, <laughs> <laughs> not black. They didn't have black. I looked for black. But we might can make it work. All right. And one last thing. Ooh, this is pretty. That's it. That's it. That's all I. I Okay, so this is a pretty eyeshadow palette. Love struck. Are you love struck, babe? It was either that or uh, mocha colors. Okay, so we've got a foundation. Uh, broccoli cheese. <gasps> oh my God, you weren't recording that whole time? Oh my God. We missed the whole we're gonna have to redo it all. The whole reaction. Oh Lord. <laughs> really? Oh. You weren't recording the entire I time. You saw me press it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but the camera cut off. So we're gonna recap. We got a foundation. Check. No concealer. Or bronzer, apparently. <laughs> which I don't know what either one of those are. We do have a setting powder, so maybe that'll brighten up under the eyes. Then we have no bronzer. We've got a blush slash highlighter. 
We've got brows. We've got this pretty eyeshadow palette. We've got a eyeliner and mascara. No lip liner, but we do have a lip gloss. And we have a setting spray, which I'm shocked about. So, I might try to use some of the eyeshadow as bronzer. We'll see how that goes. But overall, I will give you uh, B plus. a B plus. You did good, babe. Yeah. We'll see how it looks when you turn out <laughs> looking like a clown. <laughs> Gee, thanks. Alright, so let's get started. So, no moisturizer, no primer. Well, who needs any of that? You... You got that covered. So, I think I'm going to use this setting spray as also kind of a moisturizer to begin with. So, we're going to spray it on before we do the makeup. So, we're going in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Natural Finish oh, Setting yeah. Spray. <laughs> okay, it says shake well before you use so. Sadie be in here going. <laughs> Smells like hairspray. <laughs> oh my god, it tastes like hairspray. <laughs> I'm gonna use my makeup sponge since I didn't get any tools. So tools wise, I'm gonna use my tools. My wet makeup sponge. We've got our Believe Beauty Skin Finish Foundation in the shade Nude. <laughs> and it's, it's childproof, apparently. <laughs> Babe, they put the security seal on the on the thing. Well, they don't want you to. Don't break it. <laughs> Ooh, this is fancy for Dollar General. A little gold pump. I like it. We'll see if the color is right. So let's do, we're going to try, that's like two and a half pumps. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is going to be kind of light. Uh, way too light. Oh, oh my god, babe. Okay, well, actually, it's blending out pretty good. Might not be so bad. It goes well with that self tanner you got on. Yeah. It probably matches my actual skin color pretty good not my fake color yeah look at my <laughs> look at my face and my neck maybe we can make it work it doesn't look as bad in the mirror but in the camera it's like whew, looking like a ghost that's not bad i will say i do kind of like this foundation though for being dollar general how much I think it was like, I think it was like five bucks. Actually, here we go. Red Bull, Red Bull, Red Bull, Red Bull, Red Bull, Red Bull, Red Bull. Uh, powder, foundation, $5. Five dollars. Five dollars. Five dollars. Good foundation. If it was in the right color. Hey. They had other colors. I just thought the others were too dark that were available. I mean, in the right color. Hey. Okay, so, no concealer. We're gonna move on to the Believe Beauty Translucent Powder. There we go. All right, so this is what it looks like. 
I wonder how you even get yourself ready without me in the morning. <laughs> got these little, got these little holes here. So I guess we're gonna put the lid on and just do a little shake out some, or or a lot, <laughs> or a ton. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Tried to stick with the same line. I mean, it's not creasing. It's making my face look really flawless. Overall, pretty good. So I like this translucent powder. Oh, five bucks. Pretty good. Five bucks again. Mm -hmm. Is all this stuff five bucks? Nothing books? on that I bought for you was more than five dollars. Wow. Okay, so, let's do brows. That. So this is the brow defining pencil in light brown. Four dollars. Four dollars. So it's got this little spoolie thing on one side. You can kind of get the hairs all tamed up. And then this is what we're working with. It's kind of a thick pencil for eyebrows, but we'll see. Oh my. <laughs> this is, this is the light brown. I'm glad you didn't get any darker. Ooh, and I barely touched. You said that you wanted a darker one, right? Well, there you go. It's very, uh, I need a mirror to look in because that mirror ain't working. Dark. This kid's a little bit fat, so it is. Not easy. Got a little control line here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe from far away, it's okay, but up close, I'm looking like Bozo. Oh. Yeah. Some pencils you can kind of, depending on the pressure, make it lighter, but this one's just almost like a magic marker. You just barely touch it and it's black. Um. <laughs> okay, so to lighten up this brow, I think I'm gonna try to take this little spoolie part here and... She's not using this. Blend it a little bit. Whatever. Nude, nude. Yeah, this is the Huda, Huda Beauty nude. She's not using palette. that. She's I'm not using, using it. it. I'm just, mirror. yeah, I need to be able to see up close. Yeah, I don't know about the brows. <laughs> <laughs> mm. The problem is I'm a perfectionist, so any of this stuff that's not going to be perfect is going to bother me. But I will say for Dollar General makeup under $5 each and my husband picking it out, it's pretty good so far. All right, I'm going to do the other brow. Ooh, this crayon is just chunky. I'm over here. <laughs> 
Ooh, hello. <laughs> All right, I think this is probably as good as the brows are gonna get. So how much was the? Eyebrow, <laughs> what is it? I don't know what that is. This is the Brow Defining Pencil. Uh, so that is $4. $4 if you want these brows. <laughs> I don't know about the brows. Okay. Next, we'll do the, let's do the eyeshadow. So, this is the Believe Beauty Love Struck palette. And it's actually really pretty. And their packaging is pretty too. They got like the gold accents. It's pretty nice looking packaging. So this is the eyeshadow. Pretty shimmers and mattes, some metallics. I'm gonna start with this orangey shade in the bottom and this is my Sigma tapered blending brush E40 okay this color I see a lot of fallout so it might be going all over my face but we'll see I'm just gonna dust that in the crease the color is actually pretty pigmented This color's actually showing up really good. I like it. I think I'm gonna go into this purple in the middle on that same brush and just do the outer corner. Darken it up a little bit. How much was this palette? <clears throat> Probably $5. $5? Five dollars. Five bucks. And I just happen to have, I mean, this is only six colors. This Huda Beauty one is nine colors, but they have some similar colors in them. And for five bucks, I think this one was like 35 bucks or something. So you're saving $30. So it's got quite a bit of fallout, but not too bad for the price. I'm going to take my pencil brush from Sigma. This is the E30. And I'm going to dip into that orange color that we used. And just do the bottom lid. And we'll clean up all this after we're done. Quit laughing at me. <laughs> oh looking like a raccoon right now. And I'm gonna take that purple on my same pencil brush and just do the outer, yeah. outer corner of the bottom lid. Be the rocket raccoon. Rocket? Yeah. What you mean? From Guardians of the Galaxy. I don't ever saw it. Ready for battle. <laughs> don't look like I'm ready for battle. <laughs> like were, I've been through a battle <laughs> been punched in the eyes. Let's try to clean up this fallout on the face here. Next, I'm going to take this really pretty shimmer color. I think it's a metallic, kind of a metallic champagne color. And I'm just going to use my finger and hopefully it sticks. And we're gonna pop that on the lid. Okay, so not the best. I think I'm gonna try to spray. I'm gonna get this Sigma concealer brush. This is the F70. And I'm gonna spray it with the spray that he bought me. And then I'm gonna pick up that shimmer shade again and see. Maybe it'll stick a little better. I got chunks flying. So I don't know if y'all can see, but it's just not sticking very well. I'll try one more thing. I'm gonna try to spray my eye. Try my finger again. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> 
That works. That's the method for this shadow. You gotta wet your face and then stick it to it. So let's go to the other eye. We're gonna spray. Hairspray. And then, oh my gosh, my eyeball is burning. <laughs> Woo okay. For something that you're supposed to spray on your face. It shouldn't burn your eyes like that. That really might just be hairspray. <laughs> Ooh. So maybe the shadows aren't quite as good as I thought initially. Moving on, we're gonna do my other pencil brush from Sigma. And let's take this pretty almost like a highlight color. And I'm gonna do my brow bone. Ooh, that one works good. <laughs> Bless you. Got that virus. <laughs> Take that same color and do the inner corner. Next, we're gonna do liner. This is the Believe Beauty Long Lasting Eyeliner in So Slate, which I think is gonna be gray. Don't know about gray liner. Um, it is pretty good. It's got a little roll up pencil, so that's nice. Let's try to do the liner in gray and see what that, we get. Let's see. Let's see if this one's got eyeliner. 350. 350. Not bad. Maybe if it was in black. Although, maybe we can make the gray work. It's very creamy. I will say that. Just wish it was darker. It's so creamy, it's almost too creamy. Like, it just goes everywhere. I think that's as good as we're going to get with that. This is the Believe Beauty Volumen Eyes Mascara in Intense Black. Four fifty. Four fifty. See how well it works. Yeah, every, anything will look good on you, babe. No thanks. Yeah. Mhm. Mm so this is what it looks like once you get it out. Let's hope it has a fat. Uh, there was a thin one. I made Wand. Sure. Oh, the spikies. <laughs> I hate this kind. I was just talking about this in my last video. How I hate these little silicone spikes. Oh, these are the worst. I like the big, fat, fluffy brushes. These little silicone things hurt my eyeballs. Yeah, you do. But... <laughs> We'll try it and see. Oh boy. Ooh. You can hear it. Scratching my eyelashes. My eyeballs are watering from that. That hairspray in my eyes. It's doing a pretty good job though. You said three dollars? I think that one was four fifty. Four fifty. Intense volumizer. It is working pretty good. You gotta work with it, but it's working pretty good. Alright, lower lashes. Ha! Huh. Spike in my eye. Yeah, that gray, that gray liner is just not doing it for me. <laughs> I'm looking. But between the white face and the gray liner. I think it looks good, but, you know, who am I? Okay, next. We've only got two products left. So, we're gonna go ahead in with this, which is supposed to be a blush. It's called the Born to Blush Rosy Glow. But I'm thinking it's gonna look more like a highlighter. I mean, it's kinda pink, but it's really more shimmery, so we'll see. Blush Rosy Glow, four seventy-five. 
I'm gonna take my setting brush from Real Techniques. Let's see what the color looks like. Hmm. <laughs> Let me swatch it on my finger. See? I think it's more of a highlighter. So I am gonna save that until after I spray my face because it's not sticking without the spray. I'm gonna try to concoct a little bit of bronzer because I need something to make me not look so white. So let's take this, the eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna take this orange color and try to mix it with, there's kind of a tannish brown color up here. I'm just gonna go back and forth between those and kind of try to get a little bit of bronzer going on. Okay. It's fallen everywhere. There's <laughs> more falling out of it than there is yeah, and on your face. And I'm, I'm going to be wearing makeup by the time you get done with this. <laughs> it's not really it's not really sticking to my face. That's what that sprays for, ain't it? Ooh, man, this is bad. Come on. Stick. It's just kind of patchy, which it is eyeshadow, so, and I'm trying to use it. I'm actually just going into the straight orange right now at this point, because the other one's not showing up. Oh my goodness. I look like I've been hit by a bus. <laughs> I'd still go in public with you. Thanks, babe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna get any better. Do you see how patchy this is? What is this? It's like creating spots on my face that weren't there. Hmm. What is this? <sighs> best part about this is you have to wear this the rest of the day. Well, luckily, I'm in the house with you. <laughs> you get to look at this all day. Hmm. <sighs> True love, babe. Do y'all see my eyeball watering and then the makeup is just running because of that hairspray in my eyeballs? That stuff is straight up hairspray. <sighs> Looks like that's... That's about it. <laughs> as good as it's going to get. No Time hiding that some. double Time for chin. Some lip. With this. Mm. Okay. This is the Lustrous Shine Lip Gloss in the shade Prim and Proper. And again, they got this security seal over the opening. Don't understand. Well, it's because people will screw the tops off and take the product with them. Come on, babe. So smart. So pure at heart. Never crossed my mind. <laughs> okay, now I got gunk on the uh, thing, so that's no fun, but... Okay, let's see what this looks like. Oh, yeah. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> Let's check the smell. Pretty much zero smell. Kind of just looks like a clear gloss when you get it on. Feels good. It's definitely sticky. Let's spray the face with the hairspray. I'm scared. Mm -hmm. Then I'm gonna take this highlighter. <coughs> Down my throat. That's hairspray. I told you. Oh my god. That's like some rave right there. <laughs> Ooh. I'm liking this as a highlighter. That is bright. What you think, babe? There's no words to describe <laughs> what I'm feeling for you. Little on the nose. We're gonna go 
ver ya anda. You look like you're feeling pretty satisfied with yourself, babe. The highlighter kind of brought it out a little bit. Brightens it up. Makes you glowing. As much as I don't want to do it, I'm going to finish it off nope. with a spritz. <laughs> Make it lock into place. Oh, hold your breath. All right, what y'all think for under five bucks each? You gotta do what you gotta do. If you don't have a lot of money to spend on high-end products, hey, you can make it work. Even if you have a, don't want don't want to spend that much money on high-end products. Um, maybe if I would have had a bronzer and a concealer, and mm, some the right shades and some of the things, it would have turned out really great but overall i think hey you did a good job babe <laughs> <laughs> i see no faith in your <laughs> to recap this stuff the uh, finishing spray i don't know how well it's gonna wear um it dries pretty quick it's not it's sticky because it's a liquid hairspray it is hairspray <laughs> Do not spray it in your eyeballs like I did because it burns. I still have a layer in the back of my throat. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it maybe it keeps it in place. Hairspray keeps things in place, so it might work. Foundation, I actually really liked. This stuff worked pretty good. It made my face feel like silky too. I like it and it covered everything. And I don't feel dry. Um, I don't feel like it's cakey. And it feels like just skin. I really like it. So, foundation, good. Setting powder, love this. I mean, I don't have any lines. It set everything in place and it has almost a, like a silky touch like that. Eyeshadow palette, um, pretty colors. Some work better than others. The mattes, I think, worked pretty good. It didn't really blend out that well. Um, as you can kind of see, I got some chunky lines, but overall for what, like five bucks, I think. Yeah, that was five. Hey, pretty good. The brows, <laughs> I don't think so. If the tip was a little finer, I think it would have worked a little better. The color is definitely not light brown. This is like black. Let me see. Light brown. <laughs> <laughs> no words for that one. The liner, glad it's on really good, feels good on your eyes. If it would have been black, I probably would have really liked it. So it turned out pretty good. Um, just a little too light for me. Mascara, as much as I hate that tip, it actually did a good job with my with my lashes. I liked it. So that was good. This is actually very pretty for a highlighter. Um, I would not call this a blush at all. Like, if I put that on my cheeks, I feel like it would just look like I put highlighter in the wrong spot. It has a lot of fallout, as you can see, but I mean, it's really pretty, so. Last, we've got the lip. Um, really just looks clear to me. Doesn't really look pink, but I mean, it feels good looks good so overall the only two products I really hated which I mean this I don't know it might work really good it just burns and stinks the brows mm. those are the only two I really didn't like everything else worked pretty well so good job babe and you were worried you know me well yeah and if you want this look <laughs> stop by your local Dollar General <laughs> Um, for a total cost of, what was it? Like under 40 Five, bucks. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 38-ish, maybe 30, yeah, right, right at 40 bucks with tax, probably. This is nine products total, and all under five bucks, so. Some were 375, some were four, some were five, so. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching.
All right. I'm going to see if I can link some of these. I don't know if these are going to be on Amazon or not. Um, but if you want any of these products, some I really loved. So you might want to buy some. Um, I'll try to link them all in the comments below if they're available. All right. Bye.